Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaj. In this video, I will discuss one simple PLC example which is light control application. Here, we have to create a PLC program to control a lamp automatically based on light sensor signal. Let's suppose there is a light sensor. You can take LDR light dependent resistor. This sensor changes its resistance value based on the light intensity. For example, sunlight intensity. So our program is to turn on or off the lamp based on this sensor signal. Also, we have one main switch. So, this switch must be in on state, then only our program will activate, our program will run. Otherwise, PLC will not turn on the lamp. This is very simple and basic example. So, first go to your PLC software. Before that, just identify the inputs and outputs. If you see this main switch, this is digital input. And this light sensor, this is analog input. And lamp, this is our digital output. Clear? Now go to your software and take one digital input and I will take I3 you can take any input and I will give the comment this is my main switch okay next I will take analog input and this is our light sensor next i will take analog threshold trigger block so go to analog category and select analog threshold trigger give the comment analog threshold trigger okay okay and connect this light sensor to this block now i will take one little basic function which is end gate so what is our main objective we have to turn on the lamp only when the main switch is in on state. For that purpose, I will use one AND logic gate. So, connect the main switch to this AND gate and this analog threshold trigger output to this AND gate. And take one digital output and connect to this AND gate output and this is our lamp. Now, if you see, this is the main of our complete program and one important thing we have to do is, we have to set a defined range such that the lamp will turn on or turn off based on that range. That range we have to set in analog threshold trigger. Here we have to define one value based on that we are generating one digital output that we are using in this AND block. Okay. So go to properties. If you see the default range is 0 to 1000 in logo plc 
the default range will always change based on your PLC type. Remember that. I am using the same 0 to 1000 default range. You can change this range as per your sensor using gain and offset. Here I am using the same ranges, so I am not changing. So, what I am assuming is when the light sensor signal is in between 0 to 400, there is no sunlight. Okay, the sunlight is gradually decreasing. So, 0 to 400, as there is no sunlight or there is no proper sunlight, I want the lamp in on state. That is why in on state I will enter 0 and in off state I will enter 400. So, 0 to 400, I want the lamp is in on state. The lamp is in on state means there is no sunlight. Next, when the sensor range value sensor value is 400 to 1000 i want the lamp in off state that means there is proper sunlight available you can change this 400 value as per your requirement let's suppose you can change to 500 300 like that also as per your required sunlight intensity remember that this range or values purely depends on your sensor characteristics and sensor design, circuit design. These values will change as per your sensor circuit. So, in practical, you have to test your circuit and enter the values here accordingly. Okay. Click OK. Now open the PLC hardware. Now I will give the download. So go to Tools, Transfer, PC to Logo. If you don't have the PLC hardware with you, no problem. Just simulate the program and test the logic okay now i will go to online in this course i will give you many assignments simple plc problems solve those problems so that you will get good experience and skills. Now if you see the light sensor value is some 990, 990, okay. That means outside sunlight is there, okay. That is why the lamp is in on state. So first we have to turn on the main switch, then only this complete program will work. First, I will turn on the input I3C here. Now, the input I3 is in on state. It is in red color. Okay. Let's suppose the sunlight is gradually decreasing. See, it is gradually decreasing. Whenever it reaches 400, then this analog threshold trigger block will generate one digital output. That output will go to AND gate. As all inputs are in ON state at that time, output will be ON. See? Whenever it reaches 400 or less than 400, the analog threshold trigger block generates one digital output based on the outset value. As AND gate receives all inputs in ON state, AND gate generates one output. Again, lamp will be turned on based on the output. So, this is a simple program 
based on the light sensor, we are generating one digital output. And the digital output we are using in AND block. Simple, very simple. See? I mean, just to adjusting the potentiometer with my hands. In real time, you can replace this potentiometer with your sensor circuit. Let's suppose in this case, the value is 262. Light sensor is giving the signal to the end block. Lamp is in on state. Now I will turn off the main switch. This complete program is disabled or uh, in simple terms, end gate input is disabled, end gate input is in off state, such that the lamp will never turn on again. So it requires both main switch and light sensor feedback. Okay. Now I will give you one simple assignment for to you. Just to modify this existing program, you take one more digital input, one more switch. Use that switch to turn on the lamp. Okay, when that switch is in on state, the lamp must be in on state, irrespective of these main switch and light sensor. Okay, and the third switch is in off state the lamp must follow as per the existing program okay just use one digital input you can call it as bypass switch okay and you can use some other blocks also complete the program do not change the existing behavior of the program that means main switch and light sensor this will be the same you have to add one more switch and some other blocks and the lamp must be in on state respect of these signal okay i hope you understand the problem share with us how you implemented this modification through our comment section thank you i will meet you in the next video